Hello guys, my name's Chris, I'm using a fairy on myself, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Let's of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, visually blind. I just moved my mic, you guys might have heard that. This episode, we are going to be doing the Withered Tree side quest. I don't even know if that's really what it's called. Um, you build your bottle with magic forest water. It doesn't say magic at all. You can use it multiple times, but it loses its forest freshness after just 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes, really? If that becomes normal water. Aww. So, oh, there's even a timer on it. Oh, you know what? How this works is once we leave the Forest Haven, it starts counting down. Let's actually go talk to the Great Teku Tree, because this isn't going to take 30 minutes. I've actually discovered, I looked up where all the trees were in between episodes and found out this was made significantly easier, which is sad because it was really fun in the last game. Uh, let's talk to the Deku Tree, because apparently it tells you where all the locations of the withered trees are. How are things in the world, Link? As you can see, I'm slowly growing older and feebler. It seems only my wisdom is full of vigor lately. But that is just the way of life, child, not the cause for si not cause for sadness. If there's anything you wish to know, just ask. I will aid you as I may. What does it wish to know? Tell me about the Koroks. Yeah. What do you wish to learn about? The island. Yeah, the island Koroks. Are you concerned with the little Koroks who left with left the safety of the Forest Haven? It is, it is indeed true that there are many islands out in the Great Sea who could have grown dark and dangerous. Who knows what perils await my children? It's not... Too much ass Link, please offer my children assistance. Should their needs become dire, can I come to you and check on them and proceed with the quest? I entrust you with their care to you. Is there anything else? Really? See, I was told he would tell me where they are, which, I mean, obviously I know where they are because I have a freaking map right in front of me, freak. <laughs> but, uh, no, apparently he's not going to tell me. Well, whatever. Anyways, in the original Wind Waker game, you only had 20 minutes on the timer and he saw it went down there. You only had 20 minutes and, um... You also didn't have the fast sale, so it was made really easy apparently, and I don't get why. It's stupid. Stupoid. It makes me sad that it was made so easy, but whatever. You know what? We could do this. We could do this. We could do this. It's my birthday. We're gonna party like it's my birthday or soft something. Alright, let's go to my... Does it still go down even in menus? It does not. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. So. This is just... Okay, well, actually, I can tell where the island is based on the circles but is it, it's not that right i don't know what that is what is that define that no it's this one right here okay so there's seven koroks seven koroks one legendary link to save them all will he do it probably because this is made significantly easier for whatever reason whatever doesn't matter okay let's go up here Eh, eh. We could waste all the time in the world because seriously, it doesn't even matter. Why is there even a post box here? It's really weird. Who would come to the... What? How? Why? How? Who? Who would inhabit this island? Answer, nobody. Oh, can we not... Do we use our hookshot there? Really? Oh, you know what? No, I'm being stupid. This hole leads to that. Okay, that took a few seconds for me to fail. But <laughs> don't need to worry. I don't think it's extra 10 minutes. What I also figured out, which is really cool... Suke. I don't know why I had to do that for. If you use that, it spins them. Wow, I almost didn't believe that. I read it, and then I was like, no, that's not true. But apparently it's true. <laughs> Surprise! So yeah, apparently they spin when you hit them with air blasts. But what's the point, right? Because, I mean, look at this. Yeah, I did it. I didn't even use the one I used an air blast on, so it makes no sense. I believe this guy's the air blast, isn't he? I also have two tingle bottles. Do you change it to a thing? You do. Okay. Fandily tastic. Pretty dang sure this is not. Yeah, you can't spin these because they're freaking trees, man. Why would you be able to spin a tree, man? I'm a tree, man. If you guys remember, well, I was going to say we've been to this island before, but you guys all knew that. Because <laughs> <coughs> you guys saw me do it, silly buns. Alright, so if we come up here, let's talk to this Korok. The tree is withering. Hello, Swordsman. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Huh? You say the forest trees that my fellow Koroks have planted are withering? So it's so it's true! As you can see, the forest trees I've planted is all doing the same. I can't help but think this, too, is the result of evil Gandor's plot. Can it be? Regardless, in order to bring the, 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 the tree back to life, I need forest water. Swordsman, can you please back forest water and wither, unwither my tree? Well, looks like he got hit by the freaking Minecraft wither. JK. This isn't Minecraft. <laughs> Ooh. He poured force water on it, 
but still has not recovered as its figure. All of its figure? Thank you so much. You must find seven more. I thought it was seven total. Huh. Weird. Remember, just 2756. Yeah. So, if your time does run out, your forest water just turns into um, normal water. Which is strange. Okay, let's look at my thing here. We'll go to South and Fair Island, sail west. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Now we're going to Shark Island next. So, South and Fair Island. There we go. Sail west. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, there's seven, I, there's eight Koroks. I thought there were seven. Maybe there were seven in the original game and they, to balance it out, they, they, they upped it by one. <laughs> I don't think so. That'd be weird. All right, so we need to go west. Uh, wait, no, I was facing west, wasn't I? Because the compass is backwards for some reason. No, show me the map. Yeah, don't know why. Uh, huh. Actually, I should look at. Okay, it is more south. Oh, there it is, right there. I see it. It's that little speck in the distance that's above my freaking pole. <laughs> pole, get it? It's a penis joke. I don't understand it, you guys. It's okay. So, yeah, another thing that was different in the original game is that timer that's below the water there. It wasn't in there. The only way to figure out how much time you had left was by talking to a Korok. Which I was kind of fun, too, because it really made it more scary. She's like, oh, man, what's, what's the time? What? How much time do I have left? Oh, no, I'm so scared. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I turned to Mickey Mouse. That's even worse. Oh. <laughs> Get off the boots. Uh, I don't remember where this guy is. Is he over there? Aha! I found you, you fool! Aha! Should start looking at what the next one is. Okay, next one is a great fish isle. So, oh, that guy's scary. Look how scary he is. What? Why did that not work? There we go. The guy in his terrifying mask. I'm really curious. What is under your mask, sir? What is underneath all these guys? These are his masks. I don't know. It's a mystery. All right, next up is Great Fish Isle, which we teleport directly to. So let's do that, shall we? We can even sail there if we really want to. I'm actually really curious if you could do this simply by sailing. Now that give you a half hour, because I really feel like you could. I wonder how long it would actually take to sail through each and every square in this game as well. Huh. Especially with the fast sail, you know. So this one's really easy. Wow, that didn't even face me the correct way that time. This one's just on top of that spiral mountain there that's freaking definitely in inspired by Bando Kazooie. Um, speaking of Bando Kazooie, I just saw. I just saw a. Um, oh, dang it. I think it was Game Theory, maybe? Or Film Theory? No, it didn't have to be Game Theory. Post like a, a, a history of Bando Kazooie in 8 minutes or something. It wasn't 8 minutes, though, so maybe it wasn't 8 minutes. <laughs> it was like a 15 minute video or something like that. And I've never played a Banjo Kazooie game before. I've seen many Let's Plays on it. I, for some reason, it never really interested me that much. Even though I'm sure if I played it, I would have a freaking blast. In fact, maybe I will eventually let's play that. Um. <laughs> but uh, I may be really excited for Ukulele. Which is weird, because like I said, I never played Banjo Kazooie and I never had much interest in it. Why, why are they so glitchy? Um, so, Southwest from Great Fish. Needle Rock, right? Yeah, Needle Rock. Okay, great. So, southwest, that way, right? Even though it's totally southeast. Yeah, I don't... It's stupid. I don't get it. Oh, there we go. We can see it from here. But yeah, I'm really excited for Ukulele for some reason. So, uh, when that comes out, it's going to be coming out on Wii U. I'm probably going to Let's Play it. There again, I'm, I'm doing all... I'm I'm becoming one of those Let's Players that Let's Plays all the new latest games. Well, all the latest Nintendo games, like Splatoon. And Mario Maker's got to be out by the time this comes out, I'm sure... Actually, I'm like 100% sure, so I'm sure you guys have seen multiple episodes on that. I'm really expecting it to be like a Happy Wheels kind of game, so it's actually interesting. When I'll, I'm sure, well, maybe I'll be editing this after that came out and I've already played some. I'm really, I get a, I get a huge Happy Wheels vibe from it, so that'll be very interesting to see if that is correct or if it's stupid and I'm being stupid. There's also a possibility. Let's go over here. It's freaking pots, man. Oh, we can't even climb up there, can we? That wall's too flat. Right, yeah, I have to clump over here. Over here! <laughs> uh, that's a reference to a game I also want to let's play eventually. But I don't know if anyone would enjoy that. I have a bunch of PC games. See, my childhood, a lot of people's childhood consisted of Nintendo 64 and all that. My 
childhood consisted a lot of PC mo or movie video games, like, well, SpongeBob SquarePants for one, but even before that, like, Aladdin for PC, Nazir's Revenge. Uh, what are we doing next here? Warp to the Tower of the God and sail south. Um, yeah, uh, Toy Story, was it one? I don't even think it was, oh, it was based on the movie. It was the Toy Story PC game, uh, based off the first movie. So that really just goes to show, like, wow, uh, was there any other ones? Emperor's New Groove was also another really fun one. I think those are the main three. There's also the Ultimate Haunted House, which I really, unfortunately, don't think I'm ever going to get to work. It was a Windows 95 game. Yeah, that far back. Obviously, I didn't play it when it came out because I was born in 1995. My dad got a bootleg copy of that game from just a random guy. It was like one of those copies that was just in a random CD case that wasn't the original one. And it had like a printed out version of like the... Wait, is this even... I'm going the wrong way. Oh, no, I'm not. Never mind. Okay, this is it. Uh, we're going to my oasis. Yay! I'm going the right way still, right? I feel like I passed it. No, I didn't pass it. Oops. Um, yeah, it was a Windows 95 game called The Ultimate Haunted House, and it terrorized me as a child. I've been trying to get it work for so very long, but I can't get it to work. And whenever, I, whenever I, all I could see when I tried to play that, when I tried to play that game, is it opens up like a, a folder of all the files from the game. That's it. Like I can't get it to run at all, and I really wish I could figure it out. I've looked up many tutorials on how to run Windows 95 games on Windows 7. No, no, of them work at all <laughs> it's really saddening to me so maybe eventually I'll get that working if I do I will 100% let's play that game because that is like the number one terrifying thing of my childhood look to the tower again and sell north all right there you go Cork. I'm not gonna talk to you I'm just like the silent vigilante here I'm not even a vigilante because I'm not even doing anything illegal I'm freaking healing trees the opposite of illegal <laughs> I just run by Korok and just water his tree and then run away or roll away, which is even more weird. <laughs> uh, is there any other PC game? I think there probably is. I don't really recall what they are off the top of my head. But yeah, those are games like I don't think anyone would be interested in. But then again, I didn't think anyone would be interested in Pitfall or the SpongeBob Battle, Battle for Bikini Bottom and um, other ones. So maybe I will play that. Maybe it'll, Maybe there'll be like oddly huge hits on my channel as well. Like, I don't know, man. Half the time I play, like, I'll be like, oh, I'll play Splatoon. It'll be a huge hit on my channel because everybody loves Splatoon. Uh, Eastern Fair. That is what... That, geez, get out. Get off the freaking... No! I don't want to see your stupid face. Yeah. Okay. This is correct. <laughs> like, I expect maybe, like, Splatoon to be a bigger hit on my channel because it was a new game. Oh, another big hit on my channel was um, Skyward Sword, which... Was also had just come out, but I'm that every single episode of that that like hit a hundred views every single day, which I'm still pretty sure that's like my most successful consecutive let's play. Like every episode getting consecutive views. Then again, Creature from the Crusty Crab is also getting quite a bit. I kind of include all the SpongeBob games in one big loop because they're all kind of you know fit under the same umbrella. If, if like if someone played Battle for Bikini Bottom as a kid, I'm sure they played the movie video game and probably Creature from the Crust Crab, blah, 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 as well. Flying Dutchman's Revenge. All right, bye, Korok. Uh, that one has a purple leaf face. What a crazy guy. All right. We have two more here. Two more here, man. <clears throat> Mother, no. Uh, Tingle Island, Soren, Sail Northeast. Northwest. Northwest, yeah. Alright. Well, that kinda I didn't I didn't mean to talk about that in this episode, but you know, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow, go with the flow. Whee! Hello, Tingle Islands! Oh, there, there you are, Tingle Islands! Am I going the correct way? Yes. Yes I am. Wow. I don't know why I can never see the mother and child island until I know I'm facing it, and I immediately see it. It's a very obvious one, too. It's like a freaking giant... It's like a chunk error in Minecraft. Especially in Season 1 of Unoriginal Craft. Um, I was gonna say... Uh, sponsor, but for some reason the only word that came in my head was Placeholder! Sponsor! Placeholder! Well, we're seriously gonna beat this really soon. Wow. Oh, no! Wow, that guy almost hit me. 
Kind of surprised you didn't. Wow, I got a bunch of slow down when Mother and Child Island loaded in. Weird. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I wanted the other bottle too. Gosh dang it. Alright, here we go. Oh man. No. Alright, after this, there's only one more. Sail north from Child Island. Here you go, little dude. <laughs> He's even facing the camera. He's like, huh? What's going on? Ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. One more time. We'll be okay. I wonder, okay, now I'm now I'm really wanting to beat this in a flat ten minutes. Come on. This is start on. Yeah, last one's over here. Oh no, go faster. Gotta go quick. <gasps> 59 seconds, US. Can we do it? I can see the island in the distance. It's that starry island. That's called Star Island. Do 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 do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm panting for. Just come sail away. Come sail away. Come sail the sea with me. What is this how the world works? You know, like how that um, watchtower just rendered in as I got closer to it? Oh man, I only have 30 seconds. What if that's how the real wor world worked? Like, you walk somewhere, and like, as soon as you walk far enough away... Oh god, why? Holy crap! These do not want to let me heal the tree. Maybe this is Gandor's plot, which I don't know why he would care about if trees grew or not. That sounds like a very minuscule thing to care about when you're trying to take over the world. 13 seconds. No, it's across the island. We gotta make it. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. High five. Yeah. Hope you put your hand up to the computer screen because I just high fived you. Holy crap. <laughs> I forgot about this. Yay. These guys have faces on them too. Oh. Oh, heart piece. Wow. I wonder if that was supposed to happen. I can't wait for me like that. You got a piece of heart. Ooh, boy. What do you, what do you say now, Mr. Guy? Look at this guy. He's like, hey, I'm the cool guy. Swordsman, come see how healthy my fortune has become. Wow, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Wow, I, for a second there, I didn't even think he was going to thank me. He's like, wow, what just happened magically? <laughs> Look, we have 20 minutes left of this freaking water. I don't even want this water anymore, man. Uh, let's, where's Rockspar Island? I forget where it is, dang it. I think it's over here somewhere. Rockspar Island. Should I just cut? I should probably just cut, to be fair. There it is! Two squares south. Yeah, it's teleport. So let's go get the last two pieces of heart in the game, shall we? Let's go to Great Fish Island and sail one square north. It kind of sucks that I missed this because I'm pretty sure... Well, I definitely got everything that I planned to get. Um, like, when I, when I did my little sailing adventure throughout the C's. And the, and the D's and the E's and the EFG's. You know, it was a joke. Whatever, shut up. It was, was, it was funny, okay? Huh. So, yeah... I really, really, really don't understand what the heck. What? No, I, re I was about to go on that spiral hill there and like try to use my leaf to flow across like I did before. I went the wrong way. I want to go that. Yeah, I want to go over there. Um, right? Wait, what is this? Rock spot island. Okay, for some reason, and that's the island where there's a bunch of bobble rocks on it, and I thought that's Bomb Island for some reason, but no, Bomb Island is the island that's shaped as a bomb that you really don't use too many bombs on. <laughs> I know, weird, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, here's the ships right here, actually. Yeah, you get a heart piece by killing these warships. Why? Actually, it's not even these warships, it's like a random one. What I did to make sure this was the heart piece I was missing is I loaded up before I started last episode. I loaded up this file and then I went over here and did it just to check if that was the heart piece I was missing. Since, like I said, I had no way to know which heart piece I was missing. Wow, so much slowdown for some reason. Oh, no, wrong thing. Oh, 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 got a salvage. Pretty dang sure this is the right thing I was looking for. Let's take a look at this book. It's reading rainbow. So, yeah, if you destroy this random warship in the world, you get a heart piece. Why? So stupid. I hate it. It's the dumbest thing. You know what, asshole? I'm sick of your shit. Sick of it. You're done. Why are you spinning like a stupid? You stupid. Stupid guy. Let's uh, do this real quick. I, I, really, I did not uncover this 
when I load the file to see if that would give me a heart piece. Like, what could this possibly give me? This just gives me 50 rupees, and what the heck? Seriously, it's like, you come over here, yeah, look at that. You come over here, and you, um... Oh, it's right at 20 minutes. No, we gotta do this, man. We gotta go decorate the town. No, not Dragon Roost. It's like, what if you came over here and destroyed that one warship that gave you 100 rupees, and then you didn't bother to kill the other one? And that's already assuming that you have to, like, kill warships to get special things, because we all know... It doesn't, why would you do that? Why? Why? Nintendo, why? You know what? You would think, like, even if it wasn't the original Wind Waker, they would have changed it for this one to something less super obscure. I don't get it. Anyways, we have one hard piece left in the game to collect. Isn't that crazy? I think so. I think it's really crazy, you guys. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we should just do this hard piece and then... Decorate the entire town in a later episode, or in a bonus episode, rather. The joy pedestals are set out so that people uh, can place little joyful objects in them and decorate the town. The items placed in there, them should be on sale over there, so try asking Zanari about the whole deal. Honestly, you're missing out if you don't take part. So he doesn't really describe that. I think he describes it better when we talk to him a second time, or the first time. Uh, so what, what should we make the town look like, you guys? Should we go balls out and just freaking, well not balls out, <laughs> all out. <laughs> balls to the wall and all out was what I was going to say there. My deer! I like deers. Let's buy a bunch of these. I don't... What? Really? That's dumb. I remember that now, now that he brings it up. You can only have three statues at a time in your inventory. I guess maybe that has to do with trading. What? Well, no. Let's keep it. Put it... Uh... Right here. Yeah! I'm gonna put this right here. Yeah! Pinwheel spinning round and round. Let's buy a bunch of freaking statues here. I was gonna buy, like, the skull statues and put it at the gate of uh, Windfall, but I'm like, nah. As funny as it would be to make this town look like a place of death and doom and destruction. I think it's more cool to freaking spend millions of dollars on stupid statues that don't do anything at all. Well, that's not true, but... <laughs> they kind of do nothing at all. Let's, uh... Go to my delivery bay, go... Bloop! 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 Yay! Look at all that junk! My junk! My junk! My junk! My junk! My lovely lady junk! Okay, so if we go over here... We have to get... Okay, what what happens here? Wow, there's actually more than I thought. Is if we place all the... If we... Okay. Wait. Oh, it spins! That's cool. That's really cool, actually. If you place a bunch of pedestals in here... Uh, well, if you fill all the pedestals for the town here... I oh, so I only need to make one more trip. I'm gonna do a shop guru statue on each side there, and then I'm gonna put, like, flowers in the middle or something. I think that'll look cool. No, you know what we should do? Pin pinwheels, because it's Windfall Island. Yeah, let's do that. I'm in, like, Minecraft decorating mode now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It is another fine day. Alright, buy it. You guys can definitely hear me mashing the A button, because I see it spiking up my audio. No, move, little girl. You are not doing very good. Actually, I wonder what she says now. Now that, you know, we've made this store really freaking huge and stuff. Huge store. Wow, we're below 3,000 rupees now. How very sad. Alright, do you say anything special now? Girl, woman. Oh, hi, meet again. What, of course? Aw, she doesn't say anything interesting. You've already said that, silly. Don't you bow to me. Don't you bow to me. Don't you bow to... A, a joke that I can't think of. Shut up, okay? It started off as something like... What is this? It's a cabana deed. Okay, I got you. Why does it appear in the middle there? I wish you could, like, put it at the bottom of my inventory so I don't have to... It doesn't make my inventory... No! It doesn't make my inventory all crazy. Oh, you made me so angry, Anton. I almost freaking sliced and diced you with my sword. I bet once I leave Windfall and come back or, like, reload it... Oh, I don't keep that. I don't want to throw away 55 poopies. Yeah, I bet once I reload uh, Pitfall, these will all spin, like, in sync. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. 
Much better than making them all Shapu statues or all windfall pinwheel things or any anything just all like that, I guess. Alright, let's go talk to him again. I think he'll be happy with that, and I think he'll give me a heart piece. Now I get it. You're secretly assisting the Joyous Volunteer Association, aren't you? Yeah, I've been a member for a while now, so I can just tell these things. And being a member is so rewarding. Spreading joy is something you just have to experience. What? What? Do I got? Do I gotta take? Do I gotta put stuff on all the pedestals? Maybe you just gotta do it in that last one there. Hmm. What's one he will enjoy? Let's give him a pretty lady to look at. Maybe that that will make his hearts appear, and probably other gross things. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's go back over here and do. Yum, 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 yum. Maybe that's why there's three here. Actually, see, my notes say all I have to do is place statues slash flowers around. Oh, there, it, this does have an animation. Why does it have an animation before? Nope. Hmm, you'd think that would have an animation too. I'm gonna be right back, you guys, as I figure what the heck to do. Okay, I'm back. So, it turns out, in order to complete this side quest, we have to fill in every single plant post in this freaking island. Or so it says. I don't know if I really believe it or not, to be honest. It might just be the outside ones. My deer! I love deers. So, I'm gonna do is, um... I kind of want to use at least one of each statue. So here, let's buy the Postman statue. Yeah! Postman statue. And let's kind of try to do this according to what would make sense. Like, let's face it, this dude is definitely narcissist enough. Is that the word? Yeah. yeah. To have his freaking statue right beside a stall. And, uh, so let's do that. Yeah! I'm so famous! Yeah, look how famous I am. I'm having my own statues. Come play at my store. Play at my store. I mean, buy stuff in my store. Yeah. Uh, I believe there's one in here. Please only be one. Please at least be one. Please only be one. There's really, there's nothing? Maybe we should figure out where all these all are before I do anything here. You know, let's go try talking to him one more time. Because that already might be it, to be honest. I know there's one inside the school. It only has to be the outside one. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back again as I go figure out exactly where everything is so I don't have to waste everybody's time. Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna have to do this a bit weird. Um, there's a lot. And I really want to finish everything because this is seriously the only thing we have left to do in this game before going to the final dungeon. So I really want to do this, this episode, which is unfortunate because it's we're already really far on the time limit but whatever um we're gonna be doing this in a kind of a weird way here i'm gonna keep cutting until and cutting back when i get to the spot where i'm placing flowers so i will be right back again hey look it's a big catch flag okay here we go so, this house is complete. Look, so much exotic. It's because they have a lot of money. Look, sea flower, and even a town flower to show they respect people without money, even though they don't. Followed by down here, big sail flags. Exotic flowers. Then you turn around, oh, more big sail flags. They're sail flags because, you know, auctions, sales, and stuff. You put the exotics there to break up the freaking big sail flowers a little bit. Okay, the potion shop is now going to be done. So this only takes two flower pots. I put skulls because, you know, this guy probably murders people for a living. Okay, the school's done now. Look, I put skulls because everyone thinks school is death. Look, more skulls. But if you look over here, you see the truth that when you're finally about to leave school, you come out as a blossoming flower. Ooh, symbolism. Alright, Lenzo's spot is done. I put a postman statue because I think it looks cool. That's pretty much the only reason why. And also gave him a hero flag. Oh, it doesn't fall in the rain. It's wind, so it looks kind of dumb. But, you know, he takes pictures of heroes, maybe. To capture them in forever time. I, I don't know. I'm really starting to reach here, you guys. 
Alright, the battleship minigame thing with this dude is done. I put sea flowers because it's on the sea. I put exotic flowers because I'm sure you'll smell exotic places when you play this game. <laughs> Alright, finally, I think I'm done here, you guys. I use those two because, well, I don't think I use the sickle flag, and I, I don't know, I thought it'd be weird to put a flag with a flower, so I put the fountain idol since I only used that once over here. I think that's it. Let's talk to this guy, and please. Wow, Windfall just seems to be filled with joy lately, don't you think? Say, have you, haven't you been cooperating with the volunteers, have you? You know what I'm talking about, decorating that town. Oh, really? You have? Wow, it never fails to amaze me how kind and thoughtful folks can be. I know. I will return your kindness with some of my own. And that's it! You got a piece of fire. That's the fourth piece, completing another heart container. Your life energy is increased by one heart. Yep, that is the last heart piece of the game, you guys. I hope you'll continue to help with the Joyous Volunteer Association with its work. Little Joy Jr. Wow, that is the stupidest thing anyone's ever said. Hey there, Little Joy Jr. Stop calling me that! <laughs> that's it, you guys. Um, next episode, it's gonna be freaking Blue Chew Extravaganza. I'm gonna go get all the Blue Chews in the entire game. Um, by the way, before I end this episode, I gotta say, I thought for sure I was gonna run out of money. I was getting really worried about that, but look, I still have over a thousand poopies left. Yeah, look how joyful we are. It's wonderful. Ooh, I really like that. I'll probably be in the screenshot this episode, you know what? So you can do that so I have enough space to take from the screenshot and not have that stupid back button on it. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, the best way to help support me is by leaving a like on my video and by subscribing if you haven't already. In the next one, we'll do the blue chews. And then after that, we will. Oops. After that, we will go to the final dungeon. <laughs> I want to play this on the will you. Huh, pain in the butt. That's a bird, alright. A very angry bird. Free shot, pay it forward. Cool. Fairy. That's a fairy, alright. Money, 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 money. Yay! Talk to you guys next time. Also, if there's any games you want to see me play on my channel, the first link in the uh, description, you can click on it, and I'll bring you to a video where you can su suggest games for me to play. The more popular ones, I'll more than likely play. Okay, I gotta go now. Bye!